Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Marone. So you guys know how much I love LinkedIn. You guys know that I'm the biggest proponent of it, but there is a dark side to LinkedIn and I found out about that today. I wanna to share this with you. So I'm doing a webinar later this week and I created an event on LinkedIn to promote it. Well, the only person who has access to my LinkedIn account is me. And you should be very careful about who you give credentials to for your LinkedIn account and review your password and change your password, make sure you know it has all the bells and whistles with you know the weird characters and the upper cases, et cetera. Well, here's what happened to me. So I thought my password was secure. I thought my account was secure. Funny enough, I get a notification saying that my LinkedIn event has been canceled. Well, that's odd because the event's in three days and I certainly didn't cancel my own event. So I go in, look at my privacy settings and it says, um, so I'm looking at my computer right now, this is under your desktop and it says active sessions, okay? So active sessions is where you're logged in from. The devices, so it could be mobile devices, it could also be computers. And it says that I'm logged in from seven different devices. So that's interesting because I have, you know, a couple laptops and I also have a mobile device. So I look to see from where they, the sessions are originating. I live in New York City, so the sessions should be from a domain address, an IP address in New York City. Well, there's one from Frankfurt, Germany. Hmm, that's interesting. Guess what? I've never been in Frankfurt, Germany. So I, again, I, I have humor with everything. I try to see the silver lining and everything, but um, let's just say that probably was malicious. So I definitely logged out of that. So you can go in, I'm just looking here, you can sign into one session and then you can sign out, okay? It tells you the IP address. I saved that, I took a screenshot of it, I sent it to LinkedIn Help. LinkedIn Help is actually very helpful and they're gonna get to the bottom of this and try to figure out what was going on here. But this is another reason why you need to take control over your own personal information on LinkedIn, why you need to have a secure password and why you need to review all of these things, including your active sessions. This is why you need to be careful with who you give your information to. Even I didn't give my information to anybody, but you just never know. So I did not cancel that event. Uh, LinkedIn's looking into it. If you're coming, please know it's still on. It's on the 15th. But do a security checkup on yourself because things like this happen all the time. There's a lot of malicious stuff out on the interwebs. So be aware. And if you see something that doesn't jive, doesn't make sense, um, definitely query it. Definitely take a screenshot of it and definitely raise an alarm about it. So I will let you guys know what happens with this. I'm really curious as well. But be careful and vigilant. It's your personal brand. It's your information. You certainly, you know, because it could be a lot worse. You wouldn't want anybody publishing anything on your own behalf. That may not fit with your own brand. So uh, let's see what happens. But those of you coming to my event, it's not canceled. I didn't cancel it. So kind of annoying, right? And interesting. So stay tuned, guys. I'll keep you posted.